Free agency is still going on, ladies and gentlemen, and there is quite a bit few players out there that I really think the Houston Texans can, you know, bring in and contribute to some wins. Most of these guys, you could get on one year, prove a deals, and, you know, the good thing about trading Deshaun Watson is that we have cap space next year. We will have 118 mil to miss around with, so I have about four to five players on this list that I think the Houston Texans should take a stab at, and, you know, try to build this roster you know he had to wait because of this whole trade going on and not only that we have the draft in less than a month so everything is going fast for nick casario starting number one for me i would love if they brought in trey turner who was a five-time pro bowler with the carolina panthers was then traded to the chargers didn't work out there last year went to pittsburgh played all 17 games graded very high i think it was 69.6 you know, definitely had a bounce back season. Still only 28 years old. Uh, the left guard uh, position is a need. I don't know who it's going to be. The offensive line as a whole needs to be addressed, right? As far as the interior, as far as center. If you want to bring in a tackle later in the draft, you can. Hopefully not at three, you don't. But this offense needs to be heavily invested in. We've seen quarterbacks, you know, without the offensive line for the Houston Texans. I don't want to put Davis Mills into that same situation. So if the Houston Texans could bring in Trey Turner on a one-year prove it deal, if it works out, great. If not, let's go on. We could go out and sign someone big. Number two is Derek Barnett, the edge rusher who last played for the Philadelphia Eagles. Was a first-round pick, has pretty much been a buzz, quote-unquote, and he's just a your your average rotational pass rusher guy. He's going to give you five, six sacks on the season. Had seven last year. But one thing he's very good at is, is, is he's very good at defending the run. And I think that's what the Houston Texans need. And if you can throw him into your rotational pass rush and then draft someone you like a Kavon Thibodeau, then that's absolutely fantastic. You can never have too many edge guys. He only had two sacks last season. But like I said, Graded very well against the run. The Houston Texans were dead last in stopping the run last year. So adding someone like Dara Barnett, I would absolutely be ecstatic for. Number three, Marquez Valdez Scanton, the 6'4 speedy wide receiver. Kind of gives me Robbie Anderson vibes. Could he come here and be our home run hitter? One or two deep balls a game really stretches the field and opens up the playbook. I think Davis Mills needs as many weapons as he desires to be a capable quarterback. And Marcus Vado Scanlon had 430 yards this year and three touchdowns. Was dealing with a hamstring injury. However, in 2020, 690 yards. Six touchdowns. He was a big time playmaker for the Packers and Aaron Rodgers. Definitely showed up in big time games. Um, against the Cardinals, I think he had about 114 yards, pretty much took over that game. Wouldn't mind a Marcus Vado Scanlon. This is potential number two wide receiver for the Houston Texans. And my last two guys are both safeties. One of them is Deshaun Elliott, the other one is Keanu Neal. Uh, Deshaun Elliott, being from the Baltimore Ravens, had a peck injury this year, however, was playing damn good. Had an interception and I think a couple tackles for loss. The one thing about Deshaun Elliott is that he moved all over the Baltimore Ravens secondary and showed that he could, you know, play. Was very hard hitting, very good against the run. They did also put him on tight ends. They were moving Deshaun Elliott all around the Baltimore Ravens secondary. He does have two years of only playing six games. Uh, 2020 played almost, I'm sorry, 2020 he played all of them. This is this is a guy who's only 24 years old. You could take a cheap flyer on him and see what he can do. And if he blossoms, hey, the Houston Texans found the safety for the next three to four years. Keanu Neal was a linebacker for the Cowboys. Said it himself that he is going back to his safety role, which in 2020 played damn good. The 90 tackles, one interception. I think he had about six pass breakups and a couple tackles for loss. Keanu Neal is still 27, 28. If he goes back to safety, that's a definite need for me. And that's kind of a all, you know, that's kind of a. So it's kind of a no brainer for me. If the Houston Texans decide to bring in Keanu Neal, I would absolutely love it. But let me know what you guys think. Should we try any of these free agents? Should we not? Let me know what you guys think. As always, go Houston Texans. You already know. Have a very blessed day.